Hi everyone and welcome to Omron's Quick Tips video. Today I'm going to show you how to connect an NJ or NX series to an Omron IO link. Specifically I'll be connecting the NJ101-1020 which is the NJ version with the SQL database over Ethercat to Omron's IP67 rated GXILM08C IO link master. The iLink device I'm using today is the Photosensor E3ZD82M1TJIL3. So the first thing that I need to do is open up Sysmex Studio and go online with my controller. I can do this by either creating a new project and selecting my controller or connecting to the device. I already have my network set up so I'm going to connect directly over USB. Since my network is already set up, the first thing that I need to do is go to my configurations and setup, select Ethercat, right click my master, and compare and merge with the actual network configuration. This brings up the compare and merge with actual network configuration window. I apply the actual network configuration, and now my IO link Ethercat slave is on the actual network. Now I'm going to go offline and double check all of my Ethercat parameters. First thing I need to check is the PDO map. I need to edit the PDO map settings if any of my IOLink devices are sending or receiving more than two bytes. In this instance, the Omron photo sensor only receives two bytes, two, or only sends two bytes to the IOLink master. So this will stay as the default. I have another video that will address how to do PDO mapping with more than two bytes. I also need to double check my IO link settings on the master. Since I have an IO link device attached to port 1, I want to make sure that it's in IO link mode. So I scroll down to port 1, IO link device configuration, and see that it does say IO link mode and the default is set for two bytes, and as long as it is, is not sending or receiving more than two bytes, this is okay. And it can remain as the default. I now want to go online, synchronize with my controller, and transfer this program over to the controller. I need to make sure that I uncheck this box so that my Ethercat settings are transferred over. Now that everything is transferred, I can close that box and go and check the I.O. data that I'm receiving from my device. I see that port 1 is enabled because I have an IO-Link device plugged into it. My power is on, and I can double check the data that I'm receiving from my IO-Link device. So you can see the first byte changing. This is the monitored output according to the index list that you receive with your IO-Link device. The second byte in this instance is status bits that you can check. Now that my IOLink master settings are configured, I can change the IOLink device settings. I've opened CX Configurator FDT, which is included with the Sysmax Studio Update 1.16. First thing I need to do is add my NX built-in Ethercat port. From here, all I have to do is scan my network to add the IOLink master. and the IOLink devices that are attached. If you don't have the actual network set up, you can go into the protocols and drag in your IOLink device into the network. When you select your IOLink device, you get a configuration menu. You can get the identification, which if you go 
online with your IOLink device. You can read in. From here, you can also write application tags. This can also be done with messaging in SysMax Studio. From the configuration menu, you can also view the parameters and change things like the sensitivity level and the instability alarm. You can also view the kind of information that you're getting from the IOLink device. In addition to writing an application specific tag, I can change the parameters of my photo sensor. So for instance, I can change so that it's always light on. I can change the amount of time and I can change the sensitivity level and then write this to my device. Thank you for watching Omron's Quick Tip videos. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.